Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another hard-hitting episode of the Callous Mind Talking Head Sportscast. This week, I am reviewing my Week 18 prediction results, and I'm making my wild card playoff predictions, and I'm also going to let you know who I would like to see in the Super Bowl personally. So without further ado, let's get into it. I don't know about for you, but for me, week 18 did hold some surprises. One was the Colts losing at home to the Texans and subsequently losing their shot at the playoffs. Man, that is brutal. Another surprise from week 18 was the Jacksonville Jaguars losing to the Tennessee Titans and losing their playoff position as well. Uh, the Lions beat the Vikings. That's not a huge surprise. The Bengals beat the Browns in the second battle of Ohio. Uh, but Joe Flacco didn't start that game. The Steelers beat the Ravens to make their way into the playoffs. Uh, the Saints did what they could to try to get in the playoffs as well as they beat the Dirty Birds of Atlanta. But it wasn't enough because the Buccaneers beat the Panthers and won the NFC South. Uh, the Packers sneak into the playoffs by getting a big win at home against the Bears. And of course, I need to do this, and I only get to do it one more time for this season, and this is it. Hoist the colors, Raider Nation. Hoist the colors, the Raiders win. The Raiders win. The Giants beat the Eagles, and that does not bode well for the Eagles heading into the playoffs as far as I'm concerned. The Cardinals, oh God, the Cardinals. Man, I tell you what, I was out rideshare driving listening to this game on the radio, and it was when the Cardinals were up, like, what was it, um, 20 to... Uh, 13, right? And the Cardinals were about to kick uh, a field goal to pad their lead and make it 10 points. So they missed that field goal. Then the Seahawks drive down, not only score the the game-tying touchdown, uh, but they don't just go for the tie. They go for the jugular and the win. They go for the two-point conversion, and they get it to take the lead 21-20, to the Cardinals march semi down the field, get in position for a long game-winning field goal, and they missed it. They missed it, man. I was in my car saying, I cannot fucking believe it. Leave it to the Cardinals to lose like that in the last game of the season, man. Talk about leaving your fan base with a turd mouthwash, man. That was it right there. Uh, next game, Cheezer, uh, the Chiefs outlast the Chargers, and that was, uh, man, that's that's a close game. Uh, the Rams get a win by one point at the 49ers. The Cowboys beat up the Commanders, and the Bills, the Bills go into Miami, and they win the AFC East by defeating the Dolphins in their home 21-14. to Ouch. So my 2023 National Football League Week 18 prediction results were nine wins and seven losses. Uh, I'd said when I was making those picks that a lot of these games kind of had asterisks beside them because people weren't playing and so on and so forth. But, you know, given that fact, uh, and I still finished at nine and seven, uh, it's okay. It's, it's better than a kick in the head, right? So my 2023 wild card playoff picks are as follows. These games start on Saturday, January 13th, which happens to be my friend Jason's birthday. So happy birthday to Jason and all of the January birthdays out there. Uh, in the first game on this day, I'm taking the Cleveland Browns on the road to win at the Houston Texans. Now, I'm openly going to tell you that there are a couple of teams from the AFC that I'd like to see in the Super Bowl. Obviously, only one of two can make it. So my first choice from the AFC would be to see the Dolphins go to the Super Bowl. Uh, my second choice would be the Cleveland Browns. And so I'm. Th this is just pure uh, 
fan pick right here. I, I want Cleveland to win this game uh, against the Houston Texans. The next game, the Miami Dolphins visit the Kansas City Chiefs, and I know Miami hasn't had a lot of success against quote-unquote good teams this year. Um, I kind of feel like maybe this could be a make or break for the coaching because here's the thing, you know, if you have a, a good team but you can never win the quote-unquote big games or against good teams, then what, what do you really have? I mean, yeah, you have a team that's going to get your fan base excited and stuff, but can you ever really win at all? You know, that's that's the question at quarterback on all these teams, right? I mean, everybody's looking for uh, the, the next big winning, uh, Super Bowl winning quarterback, right? So... But anyway, I'd like to see the Miami Dolphins go on the road and defeat the Kansas City Chiefs. As unlikely as that is, that's my pick. Uh, Next game would be Pittsburgh at Buffalo. This is on Sunday, the first game on Sunday. And uh, I know Pittsburgh has fought like hell to get into the playoffs. And if anybody can go on the road and get this win in Buffalo, it would be the Pittsburgh Steelers. But I always still have questions about Pittsburgh's offensive ability. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll with the home Bills here. So I'll take the Buffalo Bills at home to get the win against the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. The next game on Sunday is the Green Bay Packers visiting the Dallas Cowboys. And I don't think this game will even be close. Dallas has been solid at home. And uh, I think that won't change here. So I'll take the Cowboys at home to get the win against the visiting Green Bay Packers. The next game on Sunday features the Los Angeles Rams visiting the Detroit Lions. And this is my friend Jay's team, the Detroit Lions. Uh, It was my deceased girlfriend's team as well. So I will pick the Detroit Lions in this game to get the win against the Rams. Uh, This is an interesting story from a quarterback swap standpoint as these teams swapped quarterbacks a few years ago. And, uh, but I'm going to roll with the upstart Detroit Lions. I really like what they got going on there. And then on Monday, January 15th, the Philadelphia Eagles visit the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And surprisingly enough, I'm taking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home to get this win against the Philadelphia Eagles. I feel like the Eagles are not playing up to their potential at this time. Uh, I feel like maybe Tampa Bay is better at winning uglier games, uh, closer games. I haven't really taken a hard look at that. That's just speculation on my part. But surprisingly enough, I am going to take the Bucs here at home to get this win against the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. The most desirable Super Bowl for me would either be the Miami Dolphins and the Detroit Lions or the Cleveland Browns and the Detroit Lions. Those are who I hope make the Super Bowl this season. I want to thank you all for taking some time and spending it with me today. Thank you for your viewership through this season and hopefully beyond. Please, please, please have a great weekend. Be good to yourselves and each other, and I will talk to you all next week. God bless.